Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. This is Misha. And today we're gonna talk about the modern metagame. Now, as always, this is technically a winner's metagame because I'm taking information from top 32s of challenges and other premier events on Magic Online and 4-0s and 3-1s in prelims. I didn't realize the stream Sophie was writing in the background was still like playing audio. But it's still likely reflective of the decks that you'll be playing against in your local shops um, because these are the decks that we'll jump into it. So this is what the modern metagame looks like. Frankly, it's looked like this for quite a second. Racto Scam at the top with 26.1% of the metagame. Crashing Footfalls in second with 11.5%. And then in third place is Living End, which Living End has been dancing around mid tier two, um, but jumping up into like a high tier two, low tier one spot is kind of cool. So let's talk about those three decks. Racto Scam is a deck we've seen at the top for a pretty long time. It is trying to scam their opponent out of the game in a red-black mid-range cell. So things like Ragavan into turn two Blood Moon, things like turn one Grief, the scam hand, turn one Grief into a Dying Effect, double Thought sees I start with a 4-3, or the Fury Scam where you just start with a 4-4 Double Striker doing the same thing when you evoke Fury and end it. And that within a red-black mid-range shell containing Orcish Bowmaster's Fable, the Mirror Breaker, and things like that. Very powerful, very potent, can steal games and also grind you out. And has remained at the top for a very long time and, and likely will until there's a banning or something. Crouching Footfalls is second. This is a reasonable mid-range shell that doesn't play anything below three mana besides Crouching Footfalls. So they can Cascade for their three mana Cascaders and Shadowless Agent and uh, Violent Outbursts. I almost forgot the name of the card for a second. Into Crouching Footfalls, so on turn three they can have two 4-4 four, four Rhinos and then the rest of their deck kind of supports that strategy. Living End is the other Cascade deck of the format, at least dedicated Cascade deck. There's Cascade Beanstalk, but it's not dedicated. Where they play a lot of Cyclers for one and two mana, or just two life, like in Street Wraith. Fill their graveyard with creatures, and then Cascade into Living End in the same way that Crashing Footfalls does, which wipes the board and puts all of the creatures in the graveyards onto the battlefield. And the idea is you'll have more creatures on the battlefield than your opponent. So that is the overall metagame, but there were some premier events this past weekend. So let's look at the top eight metagame. The top eight metagame... Frankly, looks very similar to the overall metagame. At the very top is Rakdos Scam with 25% of the decks in top eights. In second place is Yogmoth, so that's a new one. And then in third place is shared between Crashing Footfalls, Living End, and Amulet Titan. So let's talk about the decks that we haven't talked about yet. Starting with Yogmoth. Yogmoth is a black and green creature deck that is really good at going wide and toolboxing their deck with Court of Calling and stuff like that, and like Eldritch Evolution and whatever, but also has. Uh, combos regarding their undying creatures and Yogmoth, which allows them to draw a bunch of cards and sometimes with multiple undying creatures or there's some other combinations as well alongside a blood artist effect can just kill their opponent on the spot amulet titans a deck that utilizes amulet of vigor and the end of the battlefield tap produce two mana lands and play multiple lands a turn cards like uh, Dryad of Elysian Grove to ramp out a Primeval Titan, which can then grab utility lands to give that Primeval Titan haste because things untap because of Amulet of Vigor and then be able to attack and grab more lands that uh, do crazy stuff. It's like give it double strike and gain life and, and whatever. Or Telerian Academy, which gets bounced by one of the end of the battlefield tap, produce two mana bounce lands, which is then transmute into a Summoner's Pact, which then grab another Titan and blah, 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 blah. It's crazy. Crazy. That's really good. So there you have the overall and top eight modern metagames. Nothing's really shifting at this moment, which is kind of too bad. If you like videos like this and like these bi-weekly updates on the metagames, please be sure to like and subscribe. Check me out on social media. Links are above me and in the description, especially on Twitter and Discord. I'm trying to grow the communities there. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.